All right, y'all, look at that. Ew, that's a cast iron skillet. Nah, that's a cast iron skillet. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me, y'all. Let's go. Today, this is Cast Iron Care 101. I'll show you how to treat your cast iron and make it last forever. Cast iron is some of the longest lasting cookware it is out there. Look, it ain't no cancer to give you because they ain't using special chemicals, special sprays to make it look black. What it is is just basic metal. Two types of materials to create this simple metal, y'all. Easy to care for. The strange thing is you can find 100 year old cast iron on eBay and Amazon and places like that that have the word vintage on it that cost you as much as new stuff. Why? Because it's some of the best stuff out there. Now look at this. This is healthy cast iron. Cared for, it's got that oily look to it. It looks like it's ready to go right now. That old messed up cast iron that you ain't treated right, it looks like this. It's got rust on it. The surface has been scratched and marred off. It's just horrible, y'all. But look, let me show you how to fix this up. All you do is you're gonna have a metal scour, some dish liquid, and some water. And you're gonna put some elbow grease. Let me give you an idea. Some of the enemies of cast iron is water being done wrong, lemon, and tomatoes. Lemon and tomatoes, they're very acidic. Acidic foods break down the seasoning that we build up onto cast iron. That's right, you put that seasoning on there. That seasoning is what gives it its non-stick properties, okay? Now, if you've abused it and you gotta clean it, you're gonna go ahead and wet it up. Everything starts with wet. Get it wet, put some soap on there, take you a metal scrub like I'm doing here. You wanna scrub it up. You see this? takes a lot of elbow grease sometimes y'all but you got to do that you got to scrub 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 you're gonna put your elbows in it you're gonna put some work in that's if it's really bad this was a light case but i have a tendency when i clean my cast iron and have to take it down to the bear to fix it i go from top to bottom hey you do want to repeat this process two times sometimes three at least twice that way you get a good rinse off and can clean anything you missed you don't want any rust on there and in your food and anybody else's food, right? And you definitely want the pots to be as non-stick as they can be. So you got to do your work. All right? Look at this. You see why grandma used to spend all day throwing them in the oven? After you wash off your cast iron and give it a good scrub and get rid of that rust, all you're going to do at this point, you're going to dry it off immediately. Remember the trick. Water and metal, certain types of metals like irons, they create rust. Now, this is the seasoning aspect of it, okay? What, what seasoning a, a cast iron skillet or cast iron cookware is, is simply put putting some kind of oil, okay, on that cast iron, and you're going to bake that oil. Bake it onto it, okay? Once it removes all of the liquid properties, the wetness of the oil, it becomes a film, okay? That film is called carbonization. You want to carbonize that, that oil substance into the metal. You see, metal, when it's subjected to heat, the metals actually open up the pores of the metal, just like your skin. You put your skin under some hot water, the pores open up. You put some cold water on your skin, they close up. Now, in metal, let me tell you something. There's something called thermal shock. When dealing with cast iron, you never want to take a hot pot and stick it under cold water or it'll snap and crack in half. Why? Because the metals crash in, the metal atoms crash into each other and it just causes a crack inside that metal, okay? So which, anytime you're working with cast iron, hot pot, hot water. And in this case, because we're trying to put that carbonization directly on the very pores of it, it's always hot pot, hot grease, okay? Heat to the grease, heat to the pot. So look at this. We've cleaned off our pot, we've scoured it, we've oiled it. We've even taken a towel and cloth and got rid of the excess oils because you don't use a whole lot, maybe a tablespoon or so, depending on the size of your cast iron. Then you heat up your oven to about 450 degrees, okay? You're going to set that for an hour and you're going to just bake it, okay? You're going to smoke up your house, okay? I'm just going to tell you now, you're going to get some smoke. Use your fan to take care of that. But look at this pot. It's been scrubbed and prepped and ready to go in. You see this? You see those flakes and those speckles? That's what's left of the previous seasoning. All right, X, drop that in the oven for him. Good looking out. That's Xavier, that's my guy right there. It's my one with my right hand. All right, we close that up. One hot, 60, 60 minutes later, one hour later, 
we pull it out this is what we're looking at well before we get in close this is what we started with all we needed was soap water elbow grease and a scouring pad this is what it's supposed to look like when you're done you repeat that seasoning process I just described to you three times four times and you got it that's it all right y'all that's it if you're new to the channel or you learn something hit that subscribe button that way you never miss another video from me all right y'all i'm out of here take it easy